Good morning guys and welcome to the first proper day of shooting, well the first day of shooting of this trip. This is where it really gets going. We have arrived at the range, we're here before everybody else because we've got all the guns, we're going to start unloading, get everything out on the table and start sort of allocating and organising everything. You can see the range office behind me and that's where the car is, that's where the guns are um, and actually in front of me right now are some of the bays. So this place is fairly fairly large, there's a lot of different ranges, there's going to be a lot going on, it's not just going to be us here during the week, so maybe get to see some interesting things that isn't just American shooting trips, but yeah, incredibly excited, uh, this is what it's all about, I know the previous two days have been just lots of travelling, but this is where the action starts, this day is going to be just full of shooting, so all the arty music sort of stuff, that's going to go, I'm going to leave the shooting to do the talking, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> so anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> yup, Mr Foster's. Right here. Quite low. Uh, Richard Morgan, da -da 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 -da. Paul Foster. I'll tell you what, that's what's good. 45 from the back in the box. That's yours. Cool. No, that's or no, that's mine. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and. Ammunition is being dished out. We've got all the guns laid out on the table. It's just the real sort of organising phase, getting everything set up and, and ready, getting all the holsters out and uh, I think in a minute we're going to start dishing out uh, guns. Um, there's not everybody here at the moment, so it's uh, just the calm before the storm. Guys, put your belts on! Yes, 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 we tell the California people when they come to you, it's all the same thing. Welcome to America. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the safety briefing. Okay. Each squad has coach, squad mum, whatever you want to call them. Their word is law. Two things happen with the natural man, which is inside all of us. Guy comes in the back and throws a fire, uh, firecracker behind you and goes off. You don't see him. What do you do? Yeah, you jump. You're startled like that. The natural tendency is to control the recall. So what do a lot of people do when they control recall? Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And then you see the target talks to you. You see the first shot will be here. The next one's go. We're back out on the range. We were just in the classroom there having a safety briefing and an introduction and even a welcome. Some great guys here, um, some world-class instruction and instructors. And I sat in for the basic level uh, instruction, basic, going over the you know, basics of grip and stance. Learning stuff in the range is great, but sometimes you need to slow it down, sit down. Um, and that's what we have ample opportunity to do here out in the States. So we've come here to the range again, out in the range, and we're just gonna run through the drills, go through the motions and get shooting. What we do is try to increase stress level for you through competition and through different exercises to teach you how to shoot under stress. So we're going to add stress as a factor, okay? That's what we want you to do. You're going to get more, I love you guys, but you're going to get more and more stress as the week goes on, okay? But you're going to learn how you perform under stress. Stand behind, pick a person or two and watch them and see what they do. Watch what they do. Okay, low ready? Are you ready? Good. Stress. Fire. Are you ready? Set. Go. Fire.
Always have the follow through. As you get better, the follow through gets smaller and smaller, but it's always there, right? Okay, so start off uh, the top two circles. Um, after you feel comfortable going with those a few times, then go to the, the three and then all of them. If I'll be able to separate the hands, that means that you need to create more friction than by closing that nutcracker. Make sure you're applying equal amount of pressure. So the left hand or the support hand is gripping at least 50% or more. Never grip the gun more with your shooting hand. you're just going to be in the boxes and I want you to play with that that rhythm with these last three right but let's try to keep them all in the A zone as well stand by beginning I told you something that was the most important thing in shooting. What was that? Something you had yes. burning. Yeah. Okay, one at a time, raise your hand. Good. Good. Okay, you're out, correct? I am out. That was fairly close, though.
there we go, the end of the day. Absolutely incredible. I think the biggest thing to mention straight away again is the tuition. I really feel that I've picked up a hell of a lot just today, really honing in, you know, pistols I've never been 100% confident in. Um, and you know, I've been all right, but it's always little things that have let me down and I've been able to really hone in those um, sort of techniques, all the really basic techniques. And as I said previously, the tuition is just incredible. So the way that it was set out, were there, there was three separate groups. There was sort of like a expert, intermediate, and almost like beginner. And obviously it's separated by how much experience people have and people's ability, which is great because then the instructors can then really hone in you know, what they're trying to teach and at what level. There's no point trying to, you know, teach an expert to suck eggs and there's no point trying to throw an absolute novice in straight at the deep end. So I uh, hung around in sort of the novice section uh, mostly because, you know, I'm darting around, I'm in sort of each group videoing and I had my own little reins which I shared with a couple of people um, so I could just have a bit of a play and get rid of some ammunition but then it was much easier to go into sort of the, the beginner section uh, the beginner group and pick up those really basic skills that I've never really been taught and I found that incredibly beneficial so anybody that would be looking to come on a trip like this if you've never shot a handgun if you've never shot a gun in your life the instructors here will be able to walk you through right from the beginning and get you on target and equally if you're a seasoned pro and you just want a bit of practice and you just want to take your shooting to the next level again the instructors here will be able to to help you they were saying they train military um, and like sort of special forces so they know what they're talking about they've been there and done it so absolutely incredible no real match no real sort of super sexy action shooting today uh, but lots to learn uh, lots learnt uh, but we're going to put all that into into practice during the week um, so yeah maybe a little bit dull for today in terms of video and footage for you guys but it's been a real steep learning curve for me and I'm really excited to put that in action during the week and from what I've been hearing today there's going to be some really cool stages some really cool stuff that again I'm just super excited about so I hope you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you a real look at you know what you get up to on a trip like this by American shooting trips and I hope you're looking forward as am I to the next few days where we get to have a bit more fun.